Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So now we're finally into the height of summertime. The flip flops are out and the humid nights are here to stay. So it's important to keep those feet looking in tip top condition during the day and at night making sure you have a comfortable night's sleep. So today I have for you three easy DIYs including a scrub and foot lotion for the feet and a soothing pillow spray for the evening. So let's start off with the lavender foot scrub. So you will need some lavender essential oil and if you're lucky enough to have a lavender bush you can dry some of the flowers to use too. Some sugar, coconut oil, a jar or whatever you have to store your scrub in, some decorative ribbon if you're giving this as a gift, scissors, and a disposable spoon or mixer that is old or you don't mind throwing away after. Firstly, unscrew your jar so you're ready to add your ingredients. I found this perfect size small spice jar from Tiger to fit the right amount of scrub for the feet only. Next, spoon in your sugar to just over half full so you have enough space to mix your ingredients in the jar. If you have some dried lavender flowers, you can add these in too. I just dried some of the flowers in my airing cupboard overnight and then that way they should come away easily from the stalk. So once you've mixed in your dried flowers, add in your coconut oil next. The amount you put in depends on the size of the jar, but for this size jar, I put in around two tablespoons all together to make a wet paste. So once you're happy with the consistency, make sure you mix everything together well. Lastly, add in a few drops of lavender essential oil and give it one last mix. You can also add some more sugar and dried flowers to fill the jar right up to the top. Just make sure you give everything a good mix again. To finish, add a decorative bow or pretty label to show exactly what's inside your jar. Then you're good to go with giving your feet a nice relaxing soothing foot bath using the scrub and you can also add some of the dried lavender flowers to the bath too for the ultimate foot pamper session. Next up is the lavender foot lotion. So you will need lavender essential oil. I got this small pot from Holland and Barrett so I'll put the link down below some aloe vera fresh from the plant or shop bought gel a basic non-scented body cream this one is from Nivea so I'll put the link down below for that as well a small pot ribbon for decoration scissors and a utensil to mix with Starting off, decant your cream into the pot and again fill it to just over half so you have space to mix. If you're only making one of these lotions, I find it better to mix straight into the pot to prevent waste. Next, either scrape out some aloe vera straight from the leaves or decant a few teaspoons of the shop bought gel into the cream. Once done, make sure you thoroughly mix the gel in. Lastly, add three to five drops of the lavender oil, depending on how potent you like it, and mix all together again. To finish, top up the pot with some more cream and mix one more time. Then to complete your foot lotion, sprinkle with a little of the dried flowers if you have some to hand on top. Then screw the lid back on and finish with some ribbon if you're giving this as a gift. Now this lotion is perfect to apply after your foot bath and scrub so that your feet stay soft and smelling nice all summer long. So last up we have the lavender pillow spray. So you will need lavender and cedarwood essential oils, distilled water, ribbon for decoration, a small spray bottle and some scissors. Firstly, unscrew the top of your spray bottle and fill up with the distilled water. So you can either buy or make distilled water, so I'll put both a video on how to make that I found and a link to buy the water too. Once you've filled your bottle to the top, add 15 to 20 drops of lavender and 5 to 10 of cedarwood depending on how strong you like the smell. 
Finally, you can sprinkle some dried lavender flowers into the water too if you have them to hand. Then screw your top back on and shake the bottle a little to mix the ingredients. To finish, add a ribbon for decoration, of course this is optional, and you're ready to spray away over your pillow before you go to bed at night. Now these soothing essential oils help to de-stress the mind and promote sleep. So guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more inspiration. Give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat and if you missed my last two previous videos you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!